Hello there, Erner here, and today we will talk about Phthia in competitive battles. So, with Phthia we got quite a hard time to win all the time. For new players it is usually very favorite faction, and but against stronger competitive players this faction is quite hard. Even though this faction is very flexible, it can do a lot of things. So let's have a look on what to bring to the battlefield. Usually people like to start with the Achilles himself, very strong hero duelist. Uh, it's quite recommended to bring him and duel enemy hero, boost your attack and delete enemy hero. That's the job of the Achilles. He is one of the strongest heroes in the game. Then you need a lot of infantry units. And before that, let's review his missiles. Uh, you might bring some Achaean slings, maybe. And really maybe you can bring a genie and javelin man for skirmishing. You can do some skirmishing back and forth. Or maybe you can just bring one or two Renault uh, Armored Slingers just to uh, do some skirmishing. Uh, always judge the map. This map is quite standard. It has uh, quite good passages and it's, it seems to be quite suitable for Chariot as well. Um, if you're thinking to bring a lot of Spear uh, Myridons, I recommend you to not bring too many. Uh, always decide what is the opponent. Is opponent having spears? Then you want maximum one Myrmidon Swordsman. So this is unit is just like Hector's Chosen. These do not break and deal a lot of damage. But if opponent is having swords access then it's better to bring spear fighting Myrmidon. Maybe use 200 millimod, but be very, very careful with this unit. It's, it's very expensive and enemies can shoot this unit down. So, but we got some our front line. I recommend bringing uh, heavy swordsmen or renowned Phthian spears. Both of them are very solid. They ho have flanking defense, so they will hold the ground. Again, spears are perfect against swords and axes. Otherwise, you can go with swords instead. To support them, it is a good idea to bring champions of Taya. Uh, you need to protect them from flanking, even though they have flank defense proofed. They will be holding ground very well and fight to the last. Uh, I rec really, really recommend bringing Echinian runners. They are excellent flankers with 55 speed, flanking attack and decent stats. So I will bring these guys always. Then, uh, what else do we have? We got a good variety of Kentaurs and Giants to bring in. Uh, the Giant Champions are mostly used against Chariots and enemy heroes, so this would be very expensive for us. Since we do have ch chariot and more heavy units, I would recommend probably one Kentaur champion, or maybe if you can do it, just a Savage Kentaur warrior. Just for flanking purposes, these guys are very strong, very good. You attack the rear, and these guys will scare enemies away. Then, what else should we bring? Judging by the map, uh, flanking here will be slightly different. We will be able to flank only on one side. Uh, our flanking force will be Cantors, Flankers, Chariot. So we would like to start with some good skirmishing. And then we got some funds remaining for supporting our front line or let me check no. 
bringing one such Mirpidon would be very expensive so you have to decide what kind of cheap units want to bring instead or maybe like this uh, with Phtaya it's a bit difficult to do well in the battles but I will show you one very simple army composition that it was that is doing quite well bringing four of these heavy swordsmen there that will be your front line then you can bring two flankers and two very fast javelins you really want to have chariot and which can tower this one is pretty good yeah one can tower should be enough uh, then to make it simple we can go with Achilles and just go and face our enemies anyway. Then we need a little more units. We need something for flanking or pinning enemies down. And I would really go with more Achaean slings. This way we can start a uh, skirmishing with the Achaean slings just to open the battle. Our front line is having uh, reliable heavy swordsmen and you can support them with young spears and our flanking force will be very fast mobile with kentaurs, aegineans and chariot so let me show you the power of Taya relatively simple army composition let's make it also how would how would I use this map? Usually enemies opponent is starting usually in this side. So battle usually is happening on this part of the map. And the second variant is uh, deploying somewhere in th this area. Um, for that purposes we are going to use our flankers on this side we will try to contest and battle the guys on the on this front so we need to bring our heavy swords in such nice line right here then can towers we can use them hidden as well this flanking force will be going from behind then we need to focus our opponent attention to this side we are going to start with Achaean slings and of course we need young spears we can bring some young spears and chariots here so so that enemy will be tempted to protect from this flank so maybe enemy will be expecting us from to go here and here so he will be extra careful but on the other side we are going to flank around like this also we got the hero we can place him somewhere here and that would be our game plan in early we go ahead with slingers bring the rest of the army here we can move these flankers on the side and we slowly move to the edge of the forest so we are well hidden so this would be kind of typical tactic for the Ftoya you have good front line which is able to hold flanks and grind and you got nice flanking options on your own to win many battles so that would be it and see you later